post our commentary for this one after the uh, introductions. We're just gonna chop these up, right? We're not we're not doing it in, a, in its entirety. No, like, no, no. So we don't have to do like an intro or anything. No. Okay. There's also no live stream. Right. Somebody hit me up about it. There's not. Did you see what I put for uh, Dale Walters? I, I should have updated that. All 12 losses by stoppage. Regular combatant on the CBA, uh, CFX circuit. You'll notice little nuggets like that throughout this. Do I have a package? Yes. You're taking this seriously, bro. Yeah, bro. Jerry, I'll never say that to you. No. Fucking terrible. Yeah, bro. Our first of the I want this to be the UFC, bro. Must win match and will be in the featherweight <laughs> division. I don't know about having guys over the hand right there. Yeah, we worried about that for uh, the show two years ago. Nothing happened, though. Drop, drop a brew down Well, yeah, because that's what they were worried about. Holding a record of no wins and 12 losses, Dale the Honey Badger Walter. These guys got to be just amped for this fight. Sam Thompson in the best shape I've ever seen him in my life. So is Dale Walters. Also, Mike in at 145 oh. pounds and fighting out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Holding a record of no wins and five losses, Sam Cole. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Epic Nightclub in downtown Minneapolis. I'm Andrew Studer alongside the editor and owner of Minnesota MMA News, Ben Fearson, getting ready for our first bout of the evening, <laughs> Dale Walters. And Sam Combe, somebody's always got to go. I mean, people keep saying that, but of course. These guys got to be excited for Could this be a fight draw. There. I mean, granted, neither guy's gone to a decision, but. These two guys don't get many fair fights, so that no, to have them not. in a fair fight is, is pretty cool. Exactly. And they, this is kind of interesting because, ooh, good stiff left. Oh. Combe's in trouble. Wow. Uh, and the mount. Dude, you can't even keep up with these guys. But this is their MO, both of them come yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. Guns are blazing. And the first 90 seconds is just. Accelerator to the floor, let's go. Wow. Sam Combe, 34 years old. Really? Fighting out of St. Paul. <laughs> Look at these scrambles. Most Work recently. the rubber guard. Sam most recently saw action down in Austin. Now losing via triangle Dude, choke to Mike Steger. Do to do in Plata? It's, it's doing damage right now. Good shots to the body. Wow, he's gonna get that. Nope. Good job by Sam. You know, Sam's not that bad. You know what I mean? He's 0-5, nope. but he's, he always does bring it. And, you know, there's been a couple of times where I'm like, God, this guy's going to turn the corner. Right. And there's actually been a couple of bouts where Sam's fought where he's got – he's not a guy who comes in and loses every fight in the first round. You know, he's gone a couple in the second, the third. But like you said, it's always been in tough fights, and it's nice to see him catching a break here. We actually most recently saw him in action – we most recently saw Dale in action against Carter, Hol or Carter Holthusen, if that's how you pronounce it, back in November at Mystic. Carter's a young kid. He's a high school wrestler. Yeah, yeah. His wrestling season just started. Still, yeah. He wrestles at Rosemont, correct? Yeah. Wow. Look at these guys. So just when Sam looks like, oh. This is, this is the thing. It's like you see people in the crowd think that they can do this. Right. Any, pretty much everybody in this crowd gets in the cage with these two guys who are combined 0-17. They're, they're in trouble. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. And uh, you're seeing Sam sort of unorthodox jiu-jitsu here. <laughs> Instead of uh, staying on the back and putting in hooks, he decided to, to slide to side. And he's working some sort of under the arm. He'll just get that leg out of there like, and readjust his position because he's not going like to really He's trying to go there. for a choke here, and I'm not. If he can't get that like, leg out, it, uh, it's a headlock. It's very uh, almost frustrating to watch just because uh, you see so many openings, but I'm sure it's a lot different in the cage and adrenaline's pumping. Wow, okay, bulldog choke here. Circa Carlos Newton. He's hurt. He's, he's uh, hurt. Well, he's drooling all over the cage, so. <laughs> I, I would assume he's probably going to want to tap kind of out here. Smiling about he's smiling Yeah, there uh, you go. All right, Sam Com, first win of his career. Bulldog choke. Bulldog choke. 
the only time I've really ever seen it, like I said, was that they, it, it actually a pretty big fight was in UFC when Carlos Newton beat Pat Militich for the title use of Bulldog Choke. Granted, it was uh, slightly different from that one, but nevertheless, same result. There, there are a lot of ways out of that. It's a little disappointing uh, that he, you know what I mean? If he adjusts his body there, scoots his legs through, yep. then there's no choke there anymore. And, and I, you know, it is what it is. It's right. You know, I don't think either of those guys uh, should should be disappointed. You know, I'm sure no, Dale's disappointed because he's only 13 now. But right. like I said, I'm not getting the cage with Dale Walters. No, not at all. And I mean, actually, we've had a lot of uh, a lot worse Owen X fighters. You want to say? By the way, we have our replays going tonight. I like it, Bulldog. You're seeing Sam come with the uh, Bulldog yeah, choke finishing the fight. 44 seconds in the first round. The winner by Bulldog choke, Sam. Come I hope they get, definitely give Sam an interview. Hey. Yep, he's talking to me.